How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to export data in Blazor using Iron Excel. So, as mentioned, we're going to be exporting data in Excel uh, using Blazor and Visual Studio 2022. Um, I have the latest version installed, and you can install the latest version using the NuGet Package Manager. And remember, we always recommend the latest version of both Iron Excel and Visual Studio for the smoothest process. So let's go ahead and start with the save as file.js file, which I've already uh, created under the JS folder. So the script contains the save as file, which takes file name and base 64 byte array as inputs, creates a download link, and then triggers a click on link to start downloading that file. So the script first creates an A tag. It then sets the download attribute of the link to the file name and href attribute to the byte base 64, which is our file content. This line of code document.body.appendchild link is necessary for Firefox. Then it simulates a click on the link with link.click. And lastly, it removes the A tag from the document body. So now we'll need to reference this script file in our Blazor app. And we do this by adding the following piece of code at the end of the host.cshtml file located under the pages folder. So let's go ahead and move to the export uh, excel.cs file under the data folder. And this class has the main procedure for converting data uh, to Excel using Iron Excel. So we're defining a new method, Excel generate, which creates a new Excel workbook and worksheet. We then populate it with some sample data. We define some headers and the product names, SKUs, and customers. Once we have the data in our worksheet, we convert the workbook to a byte array using JS interop. We call the save as file function from our JavaScript file to download the Excel file. So now let's open up the export Excel.razor file under the pages folder. In this file, we create a button that when clicked invokes the Excel generate method of our Excel export class. So as you can see, we inject an instance of the IJS runtime, which will allow us to call JavaScript functions from our Blazor code. When the create Excel file button is clicked, the Excel generation method is executed, which creates an instance of Excel import class and calls the Excel generated method. And then lastly, we add a link to our Excel export page in the nav menu.razor file. And we add a new nav link to export, which is the route to our Excel export page. So let's go ahead now and run the project and see what happens. All right. So once it's low, we'll click on the export Excel link from the side nav bar, and then click on the create Excel file button. It will generate and download the X file, Excel file, sorry, right after that. So here's the generated Excel file. Let's open it and see the output. All right. So we can see the data we defined in our code. In the first row, we have our headers, uh, product, EN, SKU, customer. Then we have the data we entered. So this is only a small demonstration of what can be achieved with Iron Excel in Blazor. So we hope that you found this tutorial helpful. And please subscribe if you want some more videos from Iron Software.